Hi everyone, welcome back to another database session. Today we'll talk about different area of Databricks. So we cover Unity Catalog and we will understand what exactly Unity Catalog, why it is important and also the demo. So in order to better understand the complete area, I divided the session into four parts. So the first part is the basic of Unity Catalog, understand its benefits and how it, the objects are set up in the meta store or the data catalog, Unity Catalog. Then slowly we'll go in depth of the details in part two, like identity management, what are the different roles available, why it is important, how we can give the data permissions. And if you look at part three, it is more like demo kind of stuff where we will go in depth of Unity Catalog, how we can set up that and what are the prerequisites and configuration required before the creation of the Unity Catalog and different kind of cluster access mode. In part four, again, I included some more demos that will cover data lineage and also I have to give some more information like a lake house federation and the unity catalog what is the relation between those two now what is unity catalog unity catalog provides a centralized access control it also provides auditing and the lineage and also helps the user to discover data not only one workspace, but multiple workspace. It helps the admin to maintain it very easily by providing the meta store in one place and associate multiple workspace to that meta store. That will help us to manage the meta store very easily. So Databricks introduced Unity Catalog back in 2021. And before that, it was very difficult to manage the data inside the data lake. As you are aware, we are pulling the data from multiple sources, variety of sources with great velocity, right? So what happens is it was very difficult to um, understand from where the data is coming, what exactly the lineage and uh, providing access to specific uh, users also it was very tough and unity catalog solved all these kind of uh, problems now we'll talk about benefits what are the different benefits that you are going to get once you install or configure the unity data catalog first in one is define once secure everywhere as we have seen before you can have you can define the metadata in one place and assign that into multiple workspaces so the management access control everything you are doing through the meta store to all the workspace which is very very easy on the admin side second point is standard compliant security model so it is based on ANSI SQL, which is very familiar with most of you who are very familiar in SQL Server or Oracle or any other databases that can play ANSI SQL. You can use the similar kind of access syntax in auditing and lineage. So Unity Catalog automatically captures all the user level audit level uh, logs that record access to your data it tracks from where the data came in what kind of transformation it is happening like different tables so for example if one table is derived from another four or five table this gives you graphical representation of the lineage uh, how many tables these four tables is transformed into one 
and this one again transform into another one so this gives you more control on the data governance area data discovery is another important feature that uh, unit catalog unity catalog uh, provides you can tag the data set with whatever the names that you are using it generally and uh, in the search interface you can type that tag it will list out all the data assets that you're looking for another one is uh, system tables but that is still in public preview hopefully they will release it to generally available soon that lets you easily access and query your accounts operational data including audit logs billable usage and also the lineage information okay now we'll discuss about object model in unity catalog so it starts with metastore as you aware it's a centralized system where you can store all your metadata so this method this unity catalog is having another three layer starting from catalog schema and the third layer having multiple objects table view and volume so catalog is actually for organizing your data sets you can you can have that multiple catalog based on your requirements one small example i can provide you is like let's say company a acquired multiple companies like company c or company b and the company b need not share their data with others you can have a separate catalog for those companies data assets and inside the catalog you can have a schema schema is nothing but the database and uh, you can have multiple database for the catalog and inside the uh, schema we can have all tables views and volume so as you are aware table and views are same concept as in sql or any other databases where you store all the structured data but now we know that we have varieties of data coming into our lake so all these unstructured data stores in the volume so the difference is the structured data goes to the table and view unstructured data goes to the volume it's not stores i mean uh, it's it stores the metadata right so interesting thing is for all this layer we can apply the security um, access control so we can decide who can access the data which user or the group of user so that's the interesting portion of this uh, unity catalog all right so part one i'm covering only up to object model and uh, in part two we can go further deep into unity catalog um, so keep watching stay tuned and we'll meet again if you would like to receive more such videos please like and subscribe to my channel also if you would like to connect with me i have provided my details here my email and linkedin so thank you very much